So what I'm doing here is leaving a mark without actually marking the fabric. We're using a Japanese Hera, which is a little plastic tool that'll leave a, a nice dent in the fabric, but just a dent. So using that line as my base, I'm going to start stitching. And I want to go this direction, but I'm going to go backwards first to back stitch. So I have my thimble on, but I'm not going to be using it just yet. I'm only taking three stitches. One, two, and this will be my third stitch. And see how large they are in the front? They're going to be very small in the back. Pull my thread through just a little bit peeking out. That's okay. Then I'm going around the front way and back through the stitches that I just put down. This anchors it so I don't have to tie a knot and you don't have any lumpy knots in the back. Make sure there's plenty of slack. Give it a good tug. And you're ready. Here's where the thimble comes in handy. So here we're going to use the thimble. The thimble rests on the pad of the palm. This one's a metal one. Leather works well. I use them interchangeably, either metal or leather, depending on which one I grab first. So we're going to start our regular stitch. That needle is going to sit in the thimble and my fingers are just going to guide the needle. And I can determine the stitch length as I go. If I don't like a stitch, I just back it up, start over. This gives you the opportunity to do a lot of straight stitches, minimal effort. Instead of one stitch at a time, you're getting half a dozen or more. And depending on the length of the needle, you can just keep adding more and more and more. So here we have stitches stacked on the needle. It compresses, it takes up a lot less space if you want to just cram them on there. So I'm going to take my thimble again and just push it right through. If you're using more than a single layer of fabric, that thimble comes in real handy. My stitches aren't perfect. I don't like this line. I don't like how that looks. But in a larger project, that's not going to show up. We tend to get really uptight about how even and straight everything looks. But in the long run, when you have a finished project, it, it just blurs in and becomes part of the larger image. And nobody's going to see that, which makes it okay. Again, the part with the stacking the stitches, change the length, make it shorter. If that's too short, pull it out, make it longer. You're not committed until you pull the thread through, and even then you can pull it right back out again. That is your basic start. We'll go into more complex stitching um, in our next video.